Our boy has suffered for nothing. They don't need eunuchs anymore. It was 1911. Sun Yao Ting's father wept. He just castrated his 8-year-old son in hopes of putting him as a eunuch for the Chinese imperial court and escaping the nasty village landlord who burned their house and stole their fields. Castration was the ancient practice imposed on all male imperial servants of ancient China. The eunuchs were the only men generally allowed in the inner palace. But Sun's father didn't know that in just a few months, the last Qing Chinese emperor Pu Yi would be overthrown. In their mud-walled home, Sun's desperate father inserted a goose quill in his son's urethra so that it won't get blocked while the wound healed. The only anesthetic was some local hot chili sauce. I'm not a medical expert, so I'm not sure how that works. The only bandage was paper soaked in oil, and the tool used to sever his penis and scrotum was a small curved knife. Sun woke up from unconsciousness three days after. He was almost paralyzed for two months, but he probably wanted to go back to bed once he found out Pu Yi stepped down. But it was not all for nothing. The imperial court was still on life support. Sun still had the chance at the age of 14, wearing that ugly Qing Dynasty Q, which we explored on this video about hair, to serve one of the emperor's uncles. He then later served Pu Yi's then wife, Wan Zhuo. He was officially the last imperial eunuch of the last Chinese emperor. He served the family as they went to Manchuria. Hu Yi became a puppet emperor of Manchukuo, a Japanese colonial state, until this was overthrown as well. The surviving eunuchs, a reminder of the imperial past, became a target of the communists when they rose in 1949. Some became poor outcasts. A few drowned themselves in the forbidden city. Sun became a caretaker of a temple until his death, surviving the cultural revolution of the late 1960s. Out of fear of the Red Guards, his family threw away the jar containing his severed genitals, his bow, his treasure as the eunuchs called it, another reminder of China's imperial past. Eunuchs preserved their genitals in a jar in the belief that if they buried it with them on their death, they would reincarnate as full men. Jia Yinghua, Sun's biographer, said that Sun only cried about two things, his castration and the loss of his treasure. Sun died in 1996 at the age of 94, hopefully as a full man.